everybody, I'm Nick, and in this video I want to talk about the vending framework that was supposed to be coming in .NET 9, then .NET 10, and now it is cancelled. It's not coming. So let's see what happened and why I'm very, very disappointed in this. So, January 2024, Safia makes a post, Safia is in the ASP.NET Core team, makes a post about their idea to create what they call an eventing framework for .NET 9, which would have some sort of processing of messages the way they describe for various queue providers. So you'd have service bus, presumably, we don't exactly know, Kinesis, Kafka, anything that can publish a message, potentially even um, stream functionality from databases, like for example, uh, Cosmos DB, change feed, and so on. And the moment this was announced, many people, including me, were happy, but many people were also a bit sad. And the more you read through this blog, the more you understand that the saddest and most upset people of them all were the ones that were owning a message processing library like Mass Transit, like Wolverine. I can't remember if I saw Rebus, but I think I saw uh, Brighter as well. Everyone was chipping in saying why this is a bad idea because .NET is already a pretty heavily sort of batteries included framework. So for database, you have EF Core. For this, you have this. For this, you have that. So adding an extra thing, sort of, are you killing the ecosystem and are you killing choice? Now you can say Mass Transit and, and Wolverine and all of these libraries have more features, but we've seen it with dependency injection libraries. We've seen it with uh, logging libraries. When Microsoft is releasing something internally, the thing that used to be open source and free tends to be killed mainly because people just tend to like what Microsoft is doing and believe it will be supported more than a library that might go commercial, which is something we saw, for example, with Mass Transit. Now Mass Transit is commercial from version 9 going on. Same with things like Mediator and Automapper. Like it's, It seems like the fate of any .NET libraries, if they get popular enough, they will have some sort of commercial aspect. Wolverine is not commercial in itself, but it has commercial aspects. You can sort of buy more things from uh, JasperFX um, and so on in Jeremy's company. And there's nothing wrong with it. In my opinion, Jeremy's approaching it um, really, really nice with how you have the thing, you can use the thing, and then you can get more if you want. Um, I don't know if it's as profitable as Mass Transit's approach or what N Service Bus has done from very beginning, or for very early anyway. Um, but it's more developer friendly, in my opinion. In any case, then in June of 2024, a few months later, David, David Fowler, had to come out and sort of calm everyone down and be like, hey guys, we're really excited for this, but we're actually not going to have it in .NET 9. And they didn't specifically explain why. Uh, there was a thing where they were working with the Azure Functions team because Azure Functions pricing was changing. And this is actually why Azure Functions was not part of Aspire when this came out. So a lot was happening behind the scenes. But I think what is happening here is as Aspire was solidifying, that eventing thing might have been scrapped because it's a big thing to implement and design and, and do it reliably and sort of catch every edge case. And everything goes slowly but steadily at this point towards Aspire, still called Dot and Aspire at the time. So maybe it has to do with it. Maybe it has to do with the outrage of the community. We don't quite know, but people seem to be quite happy that it was sort of delayed or pushed further. And then what we had eight hours ago from the time of me recording this is that thanks for your engagement and thoughtful feedback. They lend us a discussion, both the, the appetite of a first part of any framework and real concerns from the community around scope, ecosystem health, and overlap with existing projects. So after reviewing the feedback and priorities, they decided to not move forward with building a standalone eventing framework as part of the ASP.NET Core. The concerns raised around duplication, scope creep, and the ecosystem impact were valid, so they caved. And at this point, we don't believe that we can deliver something that adds value without causing disruption. Now, here's what's weird to me. Microsoft has consistently been looking at the ecosystem and what the ecosystem is doing, and they've been implementing it in ASP.NET Core. For example, in .NET, hybrid cache is basically fusion cache. That was a library. Now you, you're making it built in. You're impacting and disrupting the ecosystem. Minimal APIs was Carter. And what was the other thing? The, the Nancy FX, that was a the thing. Then you brought it in. You basically killed those two. So suddenly you had the change of heart. So here's what I think happened. They're putting a lot of their eggs into Aspire and that's where a lot of the scope is going and that eventing framework might eventually come 
in Aspire. Maybe, who knows? Uh, and they're presenting this as, oh, Microsoft is so thoughtful and we do not want to impact the ecosystem. While consistently for the past 10 years, all they've been doing is killing logging libraries, dependency injection libraries, caching libraries. Like, I cannot for a second believe this uh, coming from Microsoft. Now, do I think it's the right thing to do? Yes and no. I would be very interested to see what Microsoft could come up with. And maybe they're not going to do this, but if, if it was something that they could publish to see how far they have gotten, that would be very interesting to me. Maybe interesting to other library designers as well, because they were also involved into this process. Again, I don't think that the feedback of the community is what drove this. I think genuinely they just don't have time to do it and they want to make it like a, an act of like goodwill. Um, and I'm not convinced that we will not see this in some capacity in the future. And it's a shame because, you know, the, the concept, the messaging concept is, is extremely, extremely popular. So basically every developer in some capacity is using it. It is why when I go around the world doing workshops, I'm teaching messaging on basically every single one of my workshops, which by the way, I am running a few workshops around the world. If you want to join me, link in the description. It's at conferences. We do them in person. We just hang out and it's a very interactive thing. So if you can convince your company to pay for your ticket, please do. Otherwise, maybe I'll run a few of them online as well in the future. But I want to know from you, what do you think about this? What do you think about the eventing framework and where do you stand? Where's your opinion? Should they make this? Should they not make it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, keep coding.